and I'm an astrophysicist, and this is In What Atmosphere Do Meteors and Falling Stars Burn? So if we look at all the planets, any, any planet with a substantial atmosphere or even with a weak atmosphere is going to cause um, objects, incoming objects to burn. And this has to do with drag and uh, the friction in the atmosphere. Now here on Earth, I'm going to focus on where in the atmosphere this actually happens. Let's say here we have the surface of Earth and about 100 kilometers above surface, we have something called the Karaman line. And this is the line where drag and the aerodynamic heating becomes really significant. So any object entering the atmosphere, once it passes the Karman line, is definitely burning. So in our atmosphere, the, the burning happens as soon as they enter the Karman line. And what's happening to the meteor, or the falling star, or whatever you prefer to call it, is that it's is, um, being resisted by the air, and it's causing friction, and it's crushing and crushing the rock, cre creating it to like vaporize. So if the rock is small, it will vaporize before hitting the ground, and if it's big, it will, it will get a lot smaller by the time it hits the ground. My name is Elaine Perez, and I'm an astrophysicist, and this is in what atmospheres do meteors burn? Thank you.